Hello there, and as you know, here in Hollow Point Land, progress never sleeps. We're always shooting, researching, trying different things. So we've right now we're still playing with the AEA 30 cal uh, from Terry Fox at Fox Air Pro. Thank you very much. And we are trying some bigger slugs. So on the last video, the outdoor video, I tried the 96 grain, which is actually one of my 308 bullets that I sized down. But I didn't have any numbers on it. So I'm going to do today here indoors, because uh, it's raining outside. And we have the new air conditioning system going, so it's nice and cool. We are going to, I'm going to shoot the uh, 65 grain, the 96 grain, and the 110 grain. Now granted, all these are 308 bullets, but I'm sizing them down to fit the 30 cal AEA. All right, because always the fun never ends. And if you can do it, you should. So come along. It'll be a short little video. We're just going to run some numbers and see what we come up with. And then later on, we'll go outside and do some distance shooting in the next video. But we already did the 96 grain in the last video outside, and it is a tack driver. So I want to see if we've got some other sweethearts that are sitting on the shelf that will do the same thing. So Mr. Hollow Point says, come on along. One of the things that I, I guess I'm going to have to start putting in the beginning of all the videos is if you have questions, you want to ask me anything about anything we're doing, please send me an email. I'm, don't stay on top of the YouTube chit chat, okay? Too many guys are just trolling or they'll just throw out a comment and they're not serious. I don't have time for that. I'm constantly working, you know, 14 hours a day between two jobs and I can't be doing all the time on the YouTube. So please shoot me an email, Mr. Hollow Point at sbcglobal.net and I'll respond to there the best that I can and as quick as I can. Remember, subscribe, hit the like button, and all that other goofy stuff that uh, everybody always says to do. All right? So now, let's go back to the fun. All right. So, this is the 65 grain. The 96 grain that we used in the outdoor video. And a 110 grain. All sized down to 303. So we'll shoot some of these and see what type of numbers we get. Get the old probe. Cough. <coughs> get it in there. Get a little, little bit of air. And remember, this is a slow fill. So just because your tank goes all the way up, the needle, let's let it, let's let it breathe slowly. That's the downside to having an itty bitty hole in a probe, but that's just the way things are. There we go, 4,500 PSI. And everything looks good to go. Okay, so start with the 65 grain I'm just gonna do a five shot string and get some numbers and as I told you in the previous videos I always double seat mine because there is a little bit of resistance there And I have not bled the line. The air pressure is still solid. The tank is closed, but I have not bled the line. This way, my gauge is still open on my tank. I can see where I'm ending up at. So 
guys, if you're ever going to do what I do, you definitely need to have uh, something to help with the sound because it really makes it life much easier. We have the Shogun on here at the moment. Which does a pretty good job. You do hear a ping, but that's the mechanics, I guess the depinging of the, of the rifle itself. As the hammer hits the hits the valve stem and the valve stem opens. Okay, now I could go to ten, but for my purposes right now, uh, five is fine. And that is really holding a nice tight group. All right. So, starting shot at 4,500 PSI is 1125. That's really screaming. And ending at 1060. It looks like 3,300 PSI ending. Okay. Let's go take a look. Okay, there's the 65 grain. That's five shots. Very tight little grouping. Oh, that might be an excellent substitute for something else. We will see. Now, we'll do the 96 grain, which I never did uh, get the speeds on. It's going to be a big drop compared to the 65. That 65 was moving. All right. 6 grain. Okay, there's the 96 grain. Just like outdoors, nice and tight. Really, really nice, surprisingly sweet setup. Okay, so now we'll do the 110s. Okay, the 110s. A little bit slower, but it's 14 grains heavier. And the grouping is nice. Well, there's the 110. That seemed to be doing the best grouping of the three. All got excellent possibilities. Well, it, uh, it may not show up well in the video, but we'll try some ballistic gel regardless. So let's do the uh, 
65 grain first. Ninety-six grain. Last. One ten. Okay. Let's go down and see what those babies look like. Okay, so I know it's hard to see because uh, it's whited out, but that's the 65 grain. That baby pretty much blew up on impact. There's got to be a ton of energy dump right there, uh, over 1,100 feet a second. And then right there is the 96, and then behind it, just to the other side is the uh, 110 that's that's at least 10 inches of penetration into this gel block and the mushrooming is fantastic uh, let's see there's a bit of fragments I see let's see what we got when we dig these babies out So there you go. There's the 65 grains, pretty much fragments. 96 lost a little bit of weight, but peeled back nicely. And the 110 did the most of what we're looking to expect out of big slugs. A lot of power here. A lot of power. It's like I said, this is around 1150 feet a second starting. That is, I believe, like 1015. And that's like 960. So there's still a lot of speed. All right, hollow pointers. So 65 grain, five shot string started with 1125. That gave me a foot pound energy level of 182. The 96 grain at 4,500 PSI was 1,014 feet a second, which gave me a 219 foot pounds of energy. And the 110, a little bit slower, 954 feet per second, gave me a 222 foot-pounds of energy. That's nothing to sneeze at. Achoo. Very good power levels, very good speed, very good energy. Now, of course, the air consumption at full blast on the little 65s, I think we're wasting some air. It's, but it really, you get a better consumption with the 96 and the 110s. We still need to get outside for the field testing on these to see how they do, but we already know the 96 is group tight. The ballistic gel, very nice. Uh, you can see those little ones, uh, they're going to do some massive damage on, on the, you hit a coyote in the rib cage. It's just all that energy is just going to dump and just, just blow up that whole engine right there. It's going to just dump and drop that. A headshot, of course, it's going to be mush in the old uh, coconut. The other two slugs, the 96 and the 110, you pretty much take anything in the small game range down with that. And I'm very happy. So the only other 
thing I would mention is just something with me anyways, because I'm a bit clumsy with my monkey hands, is I don't like these these scope bolts or screws on the quick connects being right here where your hand is. I have a tendency to hit my fingers on here and rip off skin. So just something you may want to think about when you're putting stuff on, flipping the other way. Now I know with this elongated piece here it doesn't quite work, but um, when you can have your, your quick connects have the bolts or the handles or what levers on the opposite side so your hand isn't working there. Um, I do that a lot and it's something I realized I never talk about. The, you know, they keep from getting scuffed up and having dishpan hands, mad, just flop them around. So, that is the end of our little short AEA 30 cal video with some new bullets that I'm testing and I'll keep coming back at you every time I have some new stuff to play with. Thanks for watching. Thanks AEA. And again, any comments, questions, emails, please don't put them in YouTube. Send me an email or a text. That's why it's there. All right? Thanks a lot.